All right, great. Well, I'm glad that we're back doing this again. What I'm going to do now is I'm not going to use any of the selection tools over here to uh, select components of the image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the select color range feature that's right in here under color range or select color range. So we have this nice dialog box which allows us to sample our color using an eyedropper tool. Right? We could come in and we could, you know, choose based on, you know, these colors here or highlights, midtones and all that kind of stuff. There are examples of where this would work out really, really well. This image is not that image. All right, where things are going to work out that well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the ball off by coming over here and clicking in that area there. You can see where I clicked based on this fuzziness, which is also, uh, I guess, another phrase or word or term for um, the tolerance value. All right, you can see the area that is now being affected that I actually selected is showing up as white in this mask area. So now what I have to do is I have to actually add to it. So I'm going to click on the plus eyedropper tool and I'm going to click in there. Wow, did I ever add to it. And I'm wondering what is this color in there? I don't know, but I'm liking what I'm seeing here. All right, so I've really got a lot going on in here. I like it, but uh, it's got me a little concerned. All right, and I'm wondering if I actually came in and chose this guy and decided to come in and reduce, I'm going to click in there, I might lose too much of the whiteness up in there. You see, I lost it. So I'm going to come in here and click on that again, and ooh, that's a little bit much. So now I am going to come in here and take away some of that. All right, that's going too much in the other direction again. So you got to be careful what you actually select and what you don't select. So I'm going to just come in here and go with something like this and then hope for the best. All right. So anyways, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play with this localized color cluster thing and I'm going to see if that's going to actually work for me. Mm, might. Might. All right. Or I can increase my fuzziness so I can decrease it, but it gets really, really crunchy. So I like to leave it kind of close to where it is. All right. But anyways, I'm going to just go with this and see what I end up with. Every time you do something, and uh, you're going to end up with a little bit of an experimentation in Photoshop. So I'm going to click OK. When I click OK, I'm going to get some marching ants on my screen eventually. There you go. So now what I need to do is I need to get rid of a lot of these loose little uh, selection things around my image. So I have the freehand lasso tool. I'm going to hold down the Option or Alt key. And I'm just going to start to select these strays to get rid of those guys. And I'm going to come in here. Now, the thing that I plan on doing with this is not going to be all that um, particular, I guess. I'm not going to be all that particular about some of the little things that I may have selected accidentally uh, you won't really notice it so sometimes it's you know you don't have to be absolutely perfect with your selections and this it might be just one of those cases now I would like to get a little bit more of this stuff in here so what I may do is just hold down the shift key and actually just come in and get this just by doing something like that and then if I wanted to, I can actually come in here and just kind of do something along these lines as well to really get some of this stuff. All right. So I guess I could come in and do this. I don't really like to do that a lot, but uh, again, you can if you want. There you go. So now if I wanted to, you know, make some adjustments or whatever with this, I would go over here and feather this guy. All right. And this one here, I'm going to feather it by two, uh, two pixels to, you know, just to give me something there. I'm just going to take that little guy away. And then what I'm going to do is think, what is it that I do want to do? Well, I could possibly go under adjustments and do a hue saturation adjustment where I can come in here and increase the saturation. I don't know if I want to do that, but I'm going to anyways. And then maybe I'll change the color of these guys a little bit. Give 
in a little bit more of a fake blue, purple look to them. Whatever. It's not what I'm doing. It's, you know, it's not whether I'm doing this right or wrong or whatever. Uh, I'm just going to take it up a little bit that way, increase the saturation a little bit, and then I'm going to bring up the Levels dialog box, and I just want to darken this stuff down. So I'm just going to take this and kind of just darken that down a little bit, darken it from there as well, and see if I can just kind of increase the contrast a little bit to make it a little more punchy. There you go. Punchy. Deselect. Take a look. And now it's got a little more kick to it. What would be nice also is if I actually brought out a little bit more detail in the um, the stock area of this cactus and all that kind of stuff. But that's for another lesson at another time. All right. So that is how we use color range.